New tonight, Governor-elect Steve Sisolak is out for one last state tour before he moves into the governor's mansion in Carson City. And 13 investigative reporter Joe Bartels caught up with the governor-elect who made it clear education is his top priority. He's leaving Las Vegas, then he's heading up to Carson City. Governor-elect Steve Sisolak will be sworn in in just days, and then it's on his state of the state to set the tone and the agenda to tackle some of the biggest issues Nevada's facing. On a visit to one of the valley's most impoverished areas near downtown Las Vegas, Governor-elect Steve Sisolak got a tour of the Boys and Girls Club. See, look at the hands go up. And answered some of his youngest constituents' questions. We're very concerned about gun violence in the country and in our schools. Schools are a place that you should be able to go to learn and not have to worry about... Uh, Gun violence. Gun violence among the topics as he held a sort of round table with a few dozen kids. They also asked about homelessness facing students and families and more money for education and schools. The answer, more resources are needed. I know I want everybody in the state to have the same opportunities, the opportunity for good quality education for the kids or the grandkids, uh, affordable health care that covers pre-existing conditions and continued expansion of Medicaid, and then jobs. Every kid, as I mentioned here, it's important that these students all get out of high school. All of these key points Governor-elect Steve Sislak is likely to make as he delivers his first State of the State speech to lawmakers in mid-January. He'll also set his agenda and tone for the upcoming legislative session. And our kids are our most important asset that we've got in the state of Nevada. Education is extremely important to me. And like his predecessor, education will be a major focus to improve Nevada's near the bottom national ranking. It's it's special to know that, you know, right before he's going to head up to Carson City to make some big decisions that uh, he has our kids interest at heart. The Boys and Girls Club is on the front lines of issues facing so many Clark County students and the governor elects message things will get better. Joe Bartels 13 Action News.